Hello everyone, YouTube channel DRS Maths welcomes you all. Today we are going to discuss median, which is second central tendency. As we have started discussion of statistics, under which we have discussed the basic terminologies and the first central tendency that is arithmetic mean or also known as mean. But before starting the lecture, I would like to request you till now if you have not followed DRS Maths at Unacademy and have not subscribed the YouTube channel DRS Maths, please subscribe it and watch the videos. If you have any query, any doubt, write your queries in the comment box. I would like to solve to resolve your queries and your problems right so let us start this lecture that is median see what is the meaning of median median means mid value mid value of what we have some data and in that data the value which is in mid that is known as mid value and that mid value is known as median that is the value which is in the middle of the data but which is in mid for that to knowing that we have to arrange the data in ascending order or in descending order ascending order means the smallest value first and the greater value after that and at the end the largest value in descending order means the largest value first and then the smallest value after that the largest value in the start and at the end the smallest value right and in if you when you arrange that value in that case the value which is in mid that is known as median for example as we have written here what is the median of 25 15 13 20 and 24 as we have seen first of all it is not arranged so i have arranged it in ascending order that is the smallest first and largest at the last 13 15 20 24 and 25 then i have seen that the value which is in mid it is 20 in mid means the number of terms before it number of terms after it are equal then this value is mid value and this mid value is 20 that's why median is 20 right now see the next thing is when we have some data then it has it will have some number of terms and those number of terms may be either odd or even if the number of terms are odd in that case the median will be n plus 1 by 2th term where n is the number of terms what it means see in the example what is the median of 4 6 3 2 8 7 and 9 the number of terms are 4 plus 3 that is 7 and i want i want median for that which term will be median it is calculated from this formula that is median is equal to number of terms that is 7 plus 1 that is 8 half of 8 is 4 the fourth term will be median which term will be median it is calculated by this formula and this is when the number of terms is odd right so in that case first of all i have to arrange the data i have arranged it first two then three then four then six then seven then eight then nine after that fourth term that is fourth term is six so median will be six also you there is no necessity to apply this formula when number of terms is very less simply you just arrange it and you just get the value which is in mid this formula is very helpful when the number of terms is large like 50 60 100 like that okay whenever the number of terms is very less it is countable that is up to 10 up to 15 you are e eligible to find out which term in mid just arrange it and take the term which is in mid and that is the median right next thing is when the number of terms are even when the number of terms are even then in that case the formula to find out which term will be the median is n by 2th term plus n by 2 plus 1th term that is there will be two terms which which comes in the median and we have to take the sum of both terms and half of that will be the median for example as here it is written find the median of 25 27 30 32 28 26 24 and 34 as we have seen there is the total number of data is 8 but they are not arranged first of all i would like to know which term will be the median for that i have written here half of the 8 by 2th term that is fourth term when i get just half that term and plus the next term that is fourth term plus fifth term 
right fourth term plus fifth term we have to add them and we have to calculate the half of that that will be the median then i have arranged the value in the ascending order right and then after that i have getting the fourth term and the fifth term and i have to just add it both and taking half of that the sum of them is 55 half of that is 27.5 so median is 27.5 again i am going to say you that if the number of data is very small there is no need to apply this formula kindly just arrange the value and you just see which value in the mid as you have taken four in this side four in this side no value in mid in the previous and the last we you just have take the two middle values add them and take half of them that would be the median right now the next thing this kind of question is going to be asked find the median of the following here is a frequency distribution table as i have discussed in the first one here the marks is given that is 30 39 22 45 27 and the number of students number of students is frequency frequency means which terms appears how many time means the marks obtained by 30 the such students are 5 means 30 appears 5 times Similarly, 39 appears 4 times, 22 appears 6 times, 45 appears 7 times, 27 appears 8 times. As we have seen, the values are not in ascending or descending order. So, first of all, I have to arrange. So, first of all, the values written in the vertical column marks, then number of students that is frequency table, and then an additional table named as cumulative frequency table is written made here so first of all i have to write 22 respective frequency is 6 then 27 respective frequency is 8 then 30 frequency 5 then 39 frequency 4 then 45 frequency 7 in the same order i have written here right 22 6 27 8 35 39 4 45 7 when we have frequency take the sum of all frequencies and it is 30 6 plus 8 14 4 18 and 7 5 12 18 plus 12 that is 30 how the cumulative frequency we are going to calculate first frequency is written as it is then add this frequency to the next one and write here then add the next one and write here add the next one and write here add next one and write here so 6 6 plus 8 14 plus 5 19 plus 4 23 plus 7 30 what it means 6 means up to 6 means 1 to 6 all the data in the all the values of the data is 22 14 means after 6 7 to 14 all the values in the given data is 27 and then what is 19 means after 14 15 to 19 all the values in the given data is 30 what it means if 15th term is 30 16th is 30 17th is 30 18th is 30 19th is also 30 right Sim this is the meaning then after 23 it means after 19 from 20 to 23 number of terms having the value 39 means 39 appears four times 20th term is 39 21st term is 39 similarly up to 23 and next after 23 that is 24 to 30 every terms having the value 45 see the total number of frequency here and the last cumulative frequency both are the same what it means if you want to know the total number of terms or the total number of frequency or the sum of the frequency that is the last cumulative frequency right this these both will be equal every time okay now see as the number of terms are even so we have to find out the median for that we should know which term will be the median so half of 30 that is 15th term and next term that is 16 term will be the median if you are going to apply the formula half of 30 by 12th term that is 15th plus 30 by 2 plus 1 and 30 by 2 15 plus 1 that is 16th term 15th term plus 16th term we have to add and take the half of that what will be the 15 and 16 term as i have told you from 15 to 19 every term having the same value so 15 is 30 16 is 30 so write the value here 15 term is 30 16 term is also 30 30 plus 30 and half of that again 30 so the median will be 30 simple right see the next example as here this data is given this is the grouped frequency table 
find the median of the following here is the group or that is marks 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 40 to 50 0 to 10 6 10 to 28 20 to 30 12 30 to 40 15 40 to 54 right so these all are in ascending order so we have to know write nothing we just write it groups here number of students these are the frequencies written here and then after frequency we have to write down what the cumulative frequency right so for that we have written here 0 to 10 6 10 to 28 20 to 30 12 30 to 40 15 40 to 54 right and then the cumulative frequencies are 6 as it is 6 plus 8 14 14 plus 12 26 26 plus 15 41 and then 41 plus 4 that is 45 meaning as i have told you it is clear then what i have to write down the class mark but class mark of not every group first of all we should know what is the total number of terms total number of terms is 45 that is total frequency is 45 odd so which term will be the median that is 45 plus 1 that is 46 what it is 45 plus 1 by 2th term to 46 ka half that is 23rd term will be the median so 23rd term will be in this class in this section 15 to 26 so this group is known as median group and the class mark of this group will be the median so class mark is calculated sum of the limits that is sum of the lower and upper limit 30 plus 20 that is 50 so it is half of the 50 that becomes 25 right so median is 25 simple right so by this way you are going to calculate the median is 25 so this is the way to calculate the median when the given values that is of the grouped frequencies or of the normal that frequencies or of the ungrouped frequencies right? ungrouped data right so this is the way to calculate the median i hope this will help you to calculate the median in each and every cases in each and every examination thanks for watching this video please share this video to each and every friend of yours and please subscribe the youtube channel drs maths and watch the videos from the playlist thank you so much once again